Hello, welcome back to EDF5. Where we last left off, we, uh... I don't know. Oh, yeah, we, uh... You know, we encountered a, a ton of frogs. Oh, uh, salting the outpost. Is this the part where we... Yeah, it says we should be able to destroy it, so... Hopefully I'll be able to. And this loadout w would work. Yeah, one thing a little awkward about this PC port is if you've noticed, my mouse automatically moves with that stuff. We're about to reach the firing range of the base. I will destroy the base even if I have to sacrifice myself. Cool. <laughs> well, we what do you mean cool? They lose the stronghold on the ground. We must succeed no matter what. Well, what kind of response is that? So I'm saying, oh yeah, I'll even sacrifice myself to destroy it. And he's like, cool. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> well, that doesn't work. Ow. I mean, they're probably aiming at me. Are they? Uh, maybe? Are they? No, they're not really aggroed onto us yet. Okay, let me see if I can. Oh, wow. Okay, that took all of them off. Yeah, pulling aggro can be a pretty important tactic in certain situations. <laughs> oh boy, hello. Almost got ran over by a tank. Nah, it's fine. Oh, I should probably focus on the shotgun ones. Or maybe I could just kind of focus on... Oh, getting rid of some limbs. Ah, come on. Yeah, that one is um, a sitting duck. Or a jumping duck, whatever. Oh boy. But yeah, last night I was mainly just strength training in RuneScape and playing World Brothers. I finally able I was finally able to get hundred percent completion on the story. Which means well dang it. Oh, those are like missiles. Yeah, you can destroy them. Yeah, this game, if you've noticed, it also counts easy as cleared once you do normal. Yeah, it does the same with um, hard mode as well, but not the others. Not Hardest in Inferno, it only counts for those. Oh, pile of loot over there, might as well grab it. But yeah, in Oath of Vince Wars World Brothers, it doesn't do that at all. Like, I didn't play a single stage on easy mode, so I had to redo all of it on easy mode. But it didn't take too long because, well... I had some very good auto-aim weapons where I just didn't really have to give a crap about where I was aiming. <laughs> just aim in the general direction and, uh, like, 30 ants die. Like, yeah. <laughs> It's certainly... Did you say happy birthday? Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I hope everyone is having a wonderful evening. Or morning. Whenever you're watching this. Or afternoon. How do I know when you're watching this? Well, why is that thing just spinning like that? Okay, yeah, you already told me that. Thank you. Yeah, that is a bit weird. 
Just adds needless complexity to the uh, to the base. More moving parts, more things that can go wrong. Oh boy. That's a big laser. Oh. There we go. <laughs> that thing just kind of disappeared in the air. Not close enough. Caliban support vehicle. Pick up the injured. Destroy the cannons on the back. Come on, come on. There we go. Or is it dead or Yeah, I think it's dead. Now here I'm just gonna have to spam the rockets, hopefully I hit him. Oh yeah, there's one down. Okay, so that's how far I have to leave the target. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, ragdoll games can just be fun in their, in their own right. Oh, come on. Oh! That's what that was. Oh, no. Uh... It's not an explosive weapon. Hmm. Crap, distracted me from destroying the uh, disc. I mean, yeah, it makes it harder for us to destroy all of them, but... It's kind of... Worthless. Uh, who am I to question these aliens weapon design decision? Hey, could you, they could just be showing off. <laughs> I wonder if those are automatically controlled or they're being controlled by something inside the disc. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of unknowns about the aliens in these games. Yeah, sniper rifle might have been um, a solid choice, but eh. rock launchers are good enough as long as you know how to lead your shots. Ooh, that was down. Must have already dealt. Jerk. Must have already dealt some damage to it. Wow, one of them was right between that, and I got a hit. That's awesome. Oh boy. Okay, so all of them were destroyed there. Oh, what happened? Oh boy. Oh, okay. That's what that is. <laughs> it's an airstrike, and uh, we should probably move. There we go. We did it! We destroyed the cannons! Nice. Yeah, that shotgunner does do a lot of burst damage. Oh, yep, it is. Destroy the base. <laughs> like that's gonna work. Okay, yeah, each of the turrets has a um yeah, has a icon on the minimap now. Interesting. Ooh, weapon. And yeah, I'm definitely going to need armor upgrades. You know, I had a thought when I was playing Borderlands once, where I was just like, at what point is your character more lead than man? 
Which actually, we might be able to calculate that. It's useless. Depending on the uh, the cartridge use. And depending on if it goes all the way through or not. Just as I oh. thought, our attacks are useless against the golden armor. The armor is broken. Strike the same place repeatedly. Yep. We've damaged the base successfully. Come on, come on. These attacks are effective. Yes, they are. Oh well. It's risky, but we have no choice. Ground force, commence attack. Get under the base and find out its weak spot. I mean, already did. There must be some areas that are left unprotected. Oh, like that. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I'm getting a lot thrown at me. As long as none of them are shotgun aliens. We should be fine. There we go. Just get rid of the arm. Ow. It'll save me some time, and he is moving away fast. Or it is, because it's a uh, base. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a uh, building like this in Curse of Cowardly Dog? Like a walking giant building or something that... There's this guy who's really sad in it. Excuse me. I guess I do remember a bit more of Curse of Kylie Dog than I thought. Oh boy, this ain't good. Oh boy, uh, I am going to die. Oh, oh. Nice. Well, get me some breathing room. <sighs> yeah, that's... Okay, those green ones are a, a problem. Dang it! Oh, it's those missiles! Oh, hello! Oh my goodness! I don't know why, but that kind of reminds me of, like, some of the homing stuff that's in Salt Adventure 2. Oh boy. Yeah, I think some of that in that game was, like, as fast as you are. Or just... And it's just kind of a awkward situation. Because it is controlling a lot of space. Yeah, like, the... Slow missiles may not seem to do much, because they're not hitting you, but they are still preventing which way you move. Come on, come on! It's been our goal to destroy the base, and now we're only an inch away from success. Dang it! Come on, come on, you can do this! No, no, no! Ah, darn it! Okay, this is really bad. Ooh, health, health. Yes. Weapon? I'll take it. Yeah, those green lasers are a problem. And that liquid armor, like, really saving me, actually. Come on, come on. Come on! Oh, it stepped down. That's what that was. Yeah, like, I'm sure, like, moving castle is a relatively common trope in fiction. Oh. As soon as the base is gone... This is bad, this is really bad. Ah, crap. Yeah, sorry, I'm just really focusing on this. Ah, 
crap, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Yeah, I died. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should probably focus more on the cannons. Here, let's retreat. Grab our bearings. Oh, a missile launcher. Oh, and, and an upgrade to my... Okay, just a little bit of reload time. Huh. Okay, so... It might be... It might be best to grab a sniper rifle. We'd be dealing less damage per second to the teleportation port, but it'd be great for getting rid of the cannons. To reach the firing range of the base. I will destroy the base even if I have to sacrifice myself. Cool. Oh, okay, so that, that's a standard response, not a cannon response. We must succeed no matter what. Weird. And it might be best if I do stay with the team. <laughs> nope. Don't point at me, that's rude. Ah, dang it. What? Oh! Uh, no, no explosives in this direction. But might as well just take care of their weaponry anyway. Wow, the frame rate is awful. <laughs> That's how you know it's EDF. Oh, hello. There we go. Yeah, disabling them temporarily is pretty freaking helpful here. Because it's multiple headshots to kill, but it's only one shot to sever the arm. The weapon arm. Yeah, sometimes disabling an enemy is all you need. Okay, so it's time for me to focus on the cannons. Destroy the remaining cannons at once. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that is reminding me of Star Fox 64 for some reason. Oh yeah, because some spots are like like red and white. Denoting weak points or something. It's one of those colors. Honestly, Star Fox 64 is... It's still a great game. I just wish the water stage wasn't so freaking slow. Like the frame rate was horrendous. Made it really clunky to play that stage. Steak? There are still cannons on the sides and back. Destroy them. Yeah, this is go this is going much better so far. I'm definitely able to destroy a lot of cannons. It is much easier to do this. Destroy the cannons on the sides. A lot of my allies are alive too. Is he 
dead? No, it's not. There we go. Just one more shot. Bunch of loot over here. What is it? Bunch of health. I mean, it doesn't really matter that I'm this far away because, well, I'm sniping. <laughs> As long as I'm dealing some kind of damage. Armor. Armor. I saw green as well, but it, I was thinking, that's a bit dark of a green to be a weapon. And I was right, it's just a uh, car. Yeah, it's just a car. Who? Oh, it's two cars. Huh. Destroy the cannons on the back. Oh, more of them. There we go. <laughs> uh, I was gonna shoot that one, but I guess the other guys took care of it. And that one can take damage. Yeah, Star Fox 64. One of the. Uh, parts I kind of had trouble with was getting the train to go into the base because well its timing is kind of really weird I guess well you need precision as well as swapping between sides okay it's gone And sometimes I just forget which side I'm supposed to be on. And other times I just miss it altogether. Like I just drive past it. Or I miss my shots because my aim is not that great with analog sticks. Yeah, my aim is generally fine with the mouse, as you can tell by this gameplay. But... When it comes to using analog sticks, I am just... I am not good at all. This should do the job. This is Swallow 2. What took you so long? We're moving in. This is Swallow 2. We're engaging the enemy. Oh, that one was destroyed already. Oh, that's a big green cannon. Yeah, a lot of damage being dealt here, so we should be fine. Uh, I remember as a kid, I was not really able to save Falco on the first stage very often. Okay. Yeah, I woke up. Time to focus on the cannons. Or... Where is it going? Don't let it escape. Launch an airstrike to destroy the base. Yeah, like that's gonna work. Squad four, disperse to the right. Okay, no damage yet. Caliban support vehicle. Pick up the injured. There we go. Everywhere. Destroy the cannons now. Shoot at the front. Pick them up one by one. This is Swallow 3, striking the base. Oh, crap, it's moving. This is Swallow 3, moving in. Take that! Where's the... Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, it's the green ones that I was... I was really just tanning my hide. Possibly literally. <laughs> that golden armor is unbreakable. Damn, my is uh oh. Take aim at the right. Just as I thought. Our attacks are useless against the golden armor. 
Strike the same place repeatedly. We've damaged the base successfully. Excuse me. Oh, that was an air shot and got its legs. Risky, but we have no choice. Ground force, commence attack. Get under the base. Wow. Okay. Dodge rolling. There must be some areas that are left unprotected. Squad three, to the back. Oh crap, yeah, uh this is gonna be very awkward. Many, many things to focus on. And that is just hitting itself itself. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember there were like planes in like World War II or something. Where it had guns behind the propeller, or maybe it was World War One. I, I I don't know. It was some kind of war. Good. These attacks are effective. They had guns behind the propeller, and well, that seems a bit silly. Because well, wouldn't the bullets just hit the propeller? And no, they made it like specifically for the the same frequencies. And what is this? Got tagged in something. <laughs> okay, it's just a Toho meme. I'll check it out later. Ah, oh, sweet. Just one shot left on the green one. Oh, boy. Oh, it's just those missiles. Now, honestly, they do kind of look like they would be from Sonic Adventure 2. Now, I kind of, I kind of find it funny when enemies do the exact same animation at the same time, similar to them making the same sound at the same time. It's, it's pretty funny. Ah, crap. At least I got rid of the green lasers, and those were... Those were the major problem. At least I'm getting a lot of armor upgrades, even if I fail this again. Which, uh, that is such a good quality of life update for this game. If you fail, you still keep a portion of your items that you got during the mission. Yeah, see how much less damage I'm taking since the... Oh boy! Uh, okay, at least I'm able to aim directly up. In World Brothers, you can't. Aim directly up. Yeah, you can't. In World Brothers. Oh, hello. <laughs> say hello to my big friend. I'd say little, but it's not an under barrel grenade launcher, so. You know, I've never seen Scarface. Never have. I know of it. And I know that Tony Montana is in Payday. And it is. It's voiced by the uh, same voice actor who played Tony in the, like, the old PlayStation Xbox game. Uh, Scarface World is Yours. Which, I think he does a fantastic job. And is, it's a lot of fun. Um, how he, his voice acting, I mean. Yeah, I am low in health. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, right before a stream, I kind of ate too much, which is a bit of a problem for me, actually. My eyes are bigger than my stomach, but I still eat everything, basically. So I end up getting uncomfortable with my stomach. I It's something I really need to work on, honestly. Hello! Nice! 
Okay, that green one is now destroyed. I was about to say, that green one was still alive, but nope. It's now destroyed. Haha, <laughs> nice! Got a headshot on that. Frog way in the back. No scope. I mean, it's not like this scope really makes your aim better. I mean, it does decrease your sensitivity, basically, but... If you're good with minor adjustments anyway, then it won't really do much other than make you see things better. Ah, darn it! Yeah, I am definitely taking a lot less damage here. Maybe I should have gotten a secondary shotgun instead of the rocket launcher. Because then, yeah, I wouldn't have taken that 50 damage. But at least there was a healing item right there. Oh, crap. It's open. Yeah, I'm gonna run a bit. Yeah, yeah. See how much better my survivability is now that I destroyed the green ones. Crap. Oh, uh, the, uh, missiles. I think at a certain distance they self-destruct anyway. Yeah, this is... Oh boy, I probably... I probably should have brought the shotgun instead of the rocket launcher. So then I don't need to pace. Oh, no, not pace. Uh, what's a good term for it? Uh, good, get a good amount of space between enemies before firing with something with better crowd control than the sniper rifle. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take this mission very slow. Oh, oh, those are the uh, missile launchers. Yeah, I probably should take those out. Because the missiles are kind of controlling space. Wow, it's tanky. There we go. Squad two, disperse to the left. Oh, there are people still alive. Just a bunch of healing items. Oh goodness, I just thought up of a terrible joke. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Not awful as an offensive, I mean awful as in drone worthy. I mean, it's a base, and the opposite of base is acid, so I just need to bring some acid. You see, that was awful. But, I thought of it, so I'm proud of it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna keep a distance and focus on destroying the cannons. I mean, I need to grab items anyway. And if I fail again, at least I get a bunch of items. Mm. Oh, like. Yeah, it is a theremin. Is what that instrument is called. It's that weird instrument. I mean, you couldn't see it, but I did like a motion with my hand for some reason. I mean, I don't know why I did. You can't see anything anyway, so... I mean, you can't see me. But, you know what I mean.
Okay, I'm out of range. Let me grab that arm. Those armors. I'm gonna need them. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, I'm too far away. Yeah, let my allies deal with it. <laughs> huh. Are there even any, like... Excuse me, Western adult animation that's that's actually really good these days. Like, mainly when I think of adult animation, I think, oh, just some solid anime. But I can't think of any um, good Western ones. I mean, I, I think I liked Rick and Morty in the first two seasons, but I haven't bothered after that. Um, don't know why, I just can't be bothered. I did the same with Attack on Titan. I watched the first season, I was like, I just can't be bothered to watch some more. But yeah, when it comes to like Western adult animation, they always seem to be trying to be like the new Family Guy or Simpsons or whatever. But I I can't think of anything off the top of my head at the moment. Like actually good Western animation. Western adult animation. Although even then, I don't know of any good Western animation in general these days. I mean... I mean, things I grew up with, like classic Spongebob, that's good. Like, we, we can all agree that classic Spongebob is good. I'm getting... I'm gonna get so many items. Nice! I'm surprised I hit that, honestly. Oh, weapon over there, too. How'd I miss that? Oh, well. Every little bit helps. Now, let's see. Nice! There we go. Yeah, it's a little hard for me to predict where it's gonna go for me to leave the target. Yeah, getting rid of a lot of those cannons really helped. And getting all these armor pickups will also really help <laughs> in the long run. It's a thing of snowballing. If you have a... Well, although not necessarily because you can farm in this game. Like, I had a conversation with a friend about Dead Space, and similar to Resident Evil... No, not... No, not Resident Evil 4 would be a little different because you can't buy ammo. Um, but I was saying, like in Dead Space, a good early game is actually kind of important because if you're able to conserve ammo and beat and avoid taking hits, you can get a lot of supplies that you can sell. And then just... And gain more money for power nodes for upgrades. So... With that... Um... And with more upgrades, the better you can get through the early early to mid game so you can afford even more upgrades toward the end game you just snowball so if you do have a very weak early game it can just it can hurt you in the long run it may not seem like it but 
It's one of those very subtle snowballs. It's not a thing you really notice unless you play the game multiple times and you compare your save files. You'd be like, wow, I had a lot more power nodes this playthrough. Can I hit it from here? Oh, I can hit that one. Okay, I'm gonna recruit you. Okay, that cannon is destroyed. Armor. Yeah, this is a... I've been on this mission for 41 minutes. Or 40 minutes. It is a long one. Or, wait, did I do a mission before this one? I can't remember. Excuse me. Either way, it's a fun mission. It is very much a, uh... Something where you have to target prioritize very well. Or just deeps the base down if you're overpowered enough. <laughs> Here, let me heal up my allies a bit. There we go. Rude. Now, I probably should have not held down the mouse button to fire automatically. Because with this weapon, you can still hold down the fire button and it will fire the next round when it's chambered. See? Uh, you can't hear my mouse. I don't know if you can actually hear it right now, but... It's active. Um, I mean, I am clicking it a lot. Let's see. Bit overkill, but what are you gonna do? Only weapons I have are overkill for normal ants. Or aggressive alien species alpha. Like, what the heck? What were they called in, in the Japanese version? And yeah, I see that armor way over there. I'm not gonna go grab it. Okay, that's destroyed. This one now. Okay, that, that was easy. You know, this is a very interesting art style. What is it called? It's some kind of retro futurism, I think. I was hoping it would hit the ground away from me. But, oh well. Oh! Oh, that's where they come from. Huh. Guess we don't have to learn about the drones and the bees. <laughs> that was awful. But hey, there are bees in this game. Well, actually, no, they're hornets. But you know what I mean. to maintain control over the ground. We are witnessing history in the making. Yeah, see, with all the cannons gone, it's basically just a uh, walking duck. I mean, it, it is walking, but still. Wait. Why is sitting duck a phrase like that? Oriole? Uh... Oh, barbecue. Barbecue? I think that's what it says. Barbecue bar. Oh, barbecue bar, I think. Huh. I didn't know that was a thing. 
Oh. Yeah, oh yeah, I'll be able to finish it here. Oh, animals pull up and drops. Yeah, after this, let's check how many armor, how much armor I gain. Just some more ants. I'm glad there are no more frogs, cause I had my fill of them in the first game. Oh, destroyed. I'll take it. Boom. Ooh, and a weapon drop. Oh, we did it. And I hit myself. It's the first time we successfully destroyed a base. The data will be sent to the EDF headquarters. Nice. Your remarkable deeds will not be forgotten. Oh, I thank you. You did great too. Well okay, let's see how much. Twenty-eight and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Thirty weapons. Uh, I guess thirty-seven, but I'm not counting these. Three round burst, pitiful range. Ooh, that reload time buff. Damage went up a little bit. Ooh, two more pellets. And, ooh, that is significant. Reload time buff. Air tortoise. Huh, okay. Oh yeah, that's the new one I got. Oh, that is beautiful. I think if you mix a... Uh, if you miss a base and an acid, you they neutralize each other. Oh, and yeah, they... Uh, yeah, and it produces a salt. Yeah, interesting. Okay, so let's see. Sure, why not? And for missile launchers, yeah, we've got the air tortoise number two. You know what? Let's try it out. <coughs> Saving Europe, Operation One. Okay. Now we're in Europe. Well, I don't exactly know where we were last time, but what are you gonna do? Too late? They're attacking the citizens. Eliminate the monsters. It's species beta. They're yes, it is. So they have reached no. Europe too? We oh, hit it! You're good! Move! Move! We've got monsters here too! Now it hunts a tree! Oh, what? What? Oh, that's a, that's a power line. Save me! I swap my magazines! I'm aiming at you! Look! The monsters are coming out from the ground! Did they sneak into the ground? Yes. Someone! Save me! Finish them! Leave none alive. I like how it's green. That does look cool. Now let's see. Don't hit a tree. Hit a spider. Oh, that is beautiful. It is it is really bad though, so I'll um it, yeah, it is way too slow for my purposes. So I'll swap to There we go. But what's the range on that? 250. Not bad. Oh, do I have exactly 500 health? 
<laughs> that's that's neat. Is it too late? They're attacking the citizens. Eliminate the monsters. Wow. They're spitting threads. So they have reached your two? Look at him go. Yeah, these missiles are much faster. And the lock on box is gigantic. Oh, this game is great. Sorry, it's just so much fun watching all the missiles just home in on enemies. Oh, come on. Skeet shooting. Which... Typically, don't you do skeet shooting with an over-under? Yeah, we seem to be doing fine. There probably there will probably be like frogs later on. Monsters coming from the ground. Maybe. Retreat for now. Retreat? Are these they're, the same ones that invaded Europe? They're just spiders. Let's run they through the troops in the rear first. Good job! It's no big deal. Ooh. Oh, do I get to play Euro Truck Simulator? Sweet. Oh, this vehicle's almost broken. You know, I myself have never played Euro Truck Simulator. I mean, we're in Europe and we're in a truck. We. Oh, hey, a boot store. Meteor coffee. Huh. Good timing. Ah, there's someone I can count on. Oh, of course. And I'm not using a Goliath this time, so y'all are relatively safe. <laughs> you know, I wonder how like this homing stuff works. I know there's probably like a computer chip in each missile that's able to like alter like the fins but I don't know how it actively locks on to certain things like I know it's a thing in real life against things like tanks and planes or actually jets like just as well but you know what I mean I just don't really know how the uh, technology works. Oh, I guess I lied when I said they were relatively safe because I just kind of shot one. <laughs> I am kind of glad I brought a shotgun. Oh, excuse me. Oh, dang it! Oh, these hiccups might be an allergic reaction. Because I've said before in my, in my streams that I can't really eat soy or peanuts. The main... The main reason is, well, I get esophageal spasms and hiccups. There's no breathing restrictions. I can still breathe perfectly fine, but 
Doesn't sound fair. It's just that my my esophagus, you know, the fruit pipe, just gets like swollen and such. And even Sori Lesithin, which is an emulsifier, can apparently cause it to have a minor reaction. Oh. You have achieved brilliant combat results. Was it pure luck, or do you really possess such skills? By the way, you are worthy of attention. Oh, thank you. Yes, give me attention. I crave it. No, I don't know. No, 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 no. Ah, whatever. Ooh, upgrade for my stork and a new sniper rifle. Wait, the uh, thing. I believe that one is like. It's single shot. Increasing damage, not bad. Yes, it is. Tremendous destructive and penetrative power alike. It shots can pierce through any enemy. Oh, it has piercing? Must be reloaded. After each and every shot, yeah. There are rifles like that. Typically, anti-material rifles are like that in real life. Uh, there's this... I know there was this rifle um, in World War II, I think, or World War One or something. Here, let me check. No, it's World War One. The Mauser 1918T Gewehr. Oh yeah, the PTRD as well. That was um. Wow, yeah. They shoot big rounds and can only take one, um... Only have one round until you have to reload. Let me double check on the damage on the MLRA-62. Hmm. That is, a uh, Thick boy. Wow. Makes me wonder how much heat that the rock generates. Because, well, there's the explosion of the powder and also the friction of the bullet going through the rifling. And the barrel and such, you know. Let's see. Yeah, why not? I'll keep using that loadout. I mean, I like using the shotgun. It's it's fun. It's very fun. What the heck? Bigger anchors are falling down. Told you. Oh, they're red this time. Right ahead. We have no choice but to deal with them. Okay, with the shotgun, this is going to be a little awkward. Units near the anchors. Attacks the targets right away. And yeah, that's the accent I was talking about in an earlier stream. This is gonna be awkward. Instead, I'll uh... Let's try out that... The new Fang rifle. Okay, it does penetrate, cause... See? PT. On the damage. Wow, that... Shot speed is insane. Wait just for a second. Uh, wow, that is um. Hang on, two hundred and sixty divided by. That is over Mach six. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I don't need to lead my targets with this baby. I mean, I still do, but <laughs> you know what I mean. What the heck? Bigger anchors are falling down. Told you. You're right ahead. We have no choice but to deal with them. Destroy them. You the anchors. Attacks the targets right away. Yeah, one thing about this is there is recoil. But if you swap weapons, you can just immediately start re reloading. If you don't do that, 
This is this is a delay before you reload. I mean, it'd be better for me to use the um, one that looks like an off, but hey, this one's more fun. Because that one does, deals more damage a second. Yeah, this only does 100 more damage per shot, and its rate of fire is much slower. But as I said, it's more fun. <laughs> And I don't really need explosives if I have the shotgun. Yeah, I know, right? Good luck for dodging these things. <laughs> Shot through the spider to hit it. And that was the final blow to that one. Yeah. It's a five. It says five second reload, but if you don't do the quick swap on weapons, it's like a second longer to do the recoil and the delay. And the delay. So it's it's okay. But yeah, you see how freaking fast that round is. Why, thank you. Oh, another truck. Can I run over bugs with this? Yeah, come on, come on. Oh, no, they just deal damage to me. It'd be funny if it turned out the most overpowered thing in the game was just a truck. Which actually, yeah, in Payday 2, you can drive a golf cart on the on that ranch heist. And the golf cart, it has to be supercharged or something, because it it goes it goes really fast. And it, it's pretty uncontrollable actually. But yeah, if you even graze up against an enemy, they just they die. It's kinda of funny, honestly. Oh boy. Eyes up! Don't get hit! Let's go! Bro! Anchors are dropping from the sky! Careful! Again! And this time there's more! The enemy is around. Get the other side! Hey look! That's a huge anchor! Giant teleportation anchor spotted! Oh, if you're wondering, uh, Mach 1... Those anchors will put everyone at risk! Mach means basically speed of light. Mach 1 is... No, not, not light. Speed of sound. Duh. Um... And Mach 1 is like 343 meters a second. Yeah, that's about the speed of sound. Well, in air. That is. So yeah, this is like Mach 6. It breaks the sound barrier. Me several times over. <laughs> uh, wow, even this guy has a weird main scheme. I mean, it makes sense, but... It Big anchors. Just, just keep calling them anchors. What's it? Is that really necessary? Well, I mean, I guess. Because they're more of a threat. Oh. Wow, that's the color of, like, the two kinds of, col of colored ketchup I brought up on stream. Yeah, there's green and purple.
It would be cool if it reloaded when it was not the active weapon, but what are you gonna do? I mean, secret weapon. I'm referring to that secret weapon which killed lots of aliens in Beijing. It's only rumor among soldiers. There's no such thing as a secret weapon. Looks like it's top secret, huh? <laughs> That's one way to see that answer. Oh, with this I can hit both of them at once. Did it hit? Uh, could it be out of range? I don't think so. I don't have a laser sight, so I don't know. I'll just keep shooting it. Until it falls off over, so... I mean, that's what I have to do anyway. Might as well keep it in the uh, background. Just in case it is penetrating. And hitting the back. Okay, so it is in range right here. Maybe it was out of range a little earlier. Oh, that hit? Okay, that hit. I thought I messed up my aim there, but nah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, I couldn't get a clear shot. That was darn ants in the way. Wasn't there like a board game called Ants in My Pants? Ants in the pants. Oh, it's a game where you flick these little plastic little bugs into a container, basically. Oh, interesting. But yeah, board games were pretty fun sometimes. A lot of them were mainly uh, social experiences as well. I mean, especially board games more geared to towards adults. Those are most definitely social experiences. Excuse me. And I mean the average adult, not like those more nerdy board games. <laughs> You know what I'm. You know what I'm talking about. The ones with like 50 million different rules. Actually, no lie. There is a board game that is insanely complex. It takes into account um, the loss of gas from lacking a uh, a gas cap on in your gas tank. Um, what was it? Oh, there it is. The Campaign for North Africa, The Desert War, 1940-43. Yeah, it is most definitely a thing. You know, I might as well shotgun the, uh... Ones that are touching the ground, basically. It'll be a lot faster. <laughs> See, told you. And it would slow the um, slow the gathering of insects, I guess. Oh, but yeah, this. Even though. There's not much impact from firing your weapons. There's still a solid amount of impact when your weapons hit things. So it's still very satisfying to... It's still very satisfying combat, I mean.
Yeah, there are multiple facets to make combat feel satisfying in games. And a lot of it does have to do with impact. There's sound, impact, damage. A lot of it is very much how things feel, if that makes sense. And I just launched that umbrella into space. Wow, it's still going. Actually, is there any bullet that goes Mach 6 in real life? I don't know. I really don't know. All I know is, something like that would be loud. Really loud. And also probably wouldn't really be that accurate. Unless the round is very, very specially designed. Because once something breaks the sound barrier, there is a bit of a uh, weird... There's different physics things you have to take into account. Especially the sound wave when the bullet eventually like slows down a little bit. And the, the shock wave catches up. I think that was a, um, a consideration when it came to the intervention rifle. Which you may know from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. My goodness, I'm referencing that game a lot in my streams recently. I can't play that game anymore because, well, my save got hacked. I don't know how, but each of my, like, I am spinning on my monitor, what the heck. Each of the custom classes you can make are just, like, called hacked or something. And whenever I try to change it, it can't. So, I don't know what's going on with that. I tried to find like a save file to wipe the slate clean, but it wasn't there. Actually, is anyone even playing Modern Warfare 2 these days? Let me check. Oh, no! Uh... Huh. Interesting. Yeah, there's a couple hundred playing you right now. I did not know that. Actually, any anyone playing COD 4? Uh, Steam... DB COD 4. 285. Not bad. Not bad at all. Especially for a game that old and there's like newer versions. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I destroyed it and got grabbed at the same time. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take that as a victory. You can't hurt me. Oh, did I just take damage? Yes, I did. Right as I said, you can't hurt me. Oh, well. Come on, come on! There we go. I want the loot. Wow, that was an explosion. Yeah, this loadout does have a bit of issue with the load speed. Also, with that fang weapon, the this rifle. The damage isn't upgraded at all, so that's why it's so low. I was mainly just shooting the corpse out of the way. <laughs> but it apparently hit some things. I'll take it. Oh, there's an anchor there. Uh, of course there is. What am I thinking? <laughs> Adjust my aim a little bit so I can get the spider as well as get the hit. Ah, darn it. Time that bad. You know, there's a pinball machine called Attack from Mars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's in Pinball FX3, and the achievement for that... I remember... It was hard. You had to, like... Destroy Mars, and with that you had to, like... Hit the middle of the board a lot of times. And the problem with that is, well, it's the middle of the it's the middle of the table, so it's very easy for the ball to just go right between the 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 flipper things. We've confirmed a swarm of flying types, but we haven't received reports about them dropping teleportation ships yet. They must have been bred by the earlier monsters. Crap! We must come up with a countermeasure ASAP. But yeah, I was eventually able to do it. And the funny thing is, at the end of it, when you destroy Mars, the Martian say, says, can't, can we, can't we be friends? And I'm just like, <laughs> uh, I'm just doing this for the achievement. But it was very, very hard. Oh, I love that little... Pump at the end of the reload. Nice. Good job. Look at it go. Oh. Here, let me shoot this. Oh. This is a private message. Oh, another one? The intelligence division is very interested in you. We will start to watch and record your actions from now on. Oh. I will send one of my men to you who will surely become a great help. Okay. Well, I mean, I am streaming this right now, so you can just watch the stream. In fact, I'd appreciate it if you watch, watch the stream. And there's a weapon over there that I can't get. <laughs> okay, no upgrade to the thing. But I... Wait, did I legitimately get no armor? And it all went to the other classes? Wow, that is bull crap. Wait, maybe I did. Weird. Okay, what's this? Calling the flying type, so I will be wanting a missile launcher. Wow, that is a lot of damage. But it's single target, so I can't really do much with it. Oh, we are like 40% of the way through the game. Flying type monsters are approaching. Cool. Prepare to fight. It's those flying monsters. But yeah, it is a real long game. Wait, see the bird? Finish the monsters with surface to air missiles. Well, I got some right here. Powered exoskeletons. Take care of the enemies near the surface to air missiles. They're coming! There's too many of them! How come there are so many? Uh, they breathe pretty fast. And powered exoskeletons will cover you. Oh, excuse Infantry me. Unit, do not back down. Wow, that's a lot of things flying around. It's also covered with missiles. Okay, that looks cool. Goes backwards and then forwards like that. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, actually, there's a gif I saw um, of a missile being shot from, like, a uh, submarine or a ship or something. Like, what it did was it went up and then it, like, stalled in midair and then, like, turned. And it was it was cool looking, but it's also kind of terrifying. Uh, yes, they are. Huh. Anti-aircraft missiles can't handle monsters at close range. Infantry unit, defeat all enemies close to the surface to air missiles. Ooh, mi weapon. Uh, I was about to say missiles because, well, just said missiles. Oh, yeah, there are uh, the surface air missile vehicles. They were in 4.1. I don't recall if they were outright just ported to this game. Which wouldn't surprise me, it's practically the same engine. 
Which, I kind of like those games. Where the sequel is not really, like, radically different. It's just more of the same, just for fun. And I really appreciate that. Because, well... So you're saying... Oh. They can't handle air pollution. Okay. We assume that feature in Beijing has played a key role. Does it mean that the aliens have never faced air pollution before? Enemies are decreasing in number. We're about to succeed. Okay. Yeah, I do. That is the uh, plot reason why they won, by the way. Yes. There's another pack of the flying type. Watch out. Because of, yeah, air pollution. <laughs> Oh. We're dead. The red ones must be stronger. I we know. need detail on the red monsters. Fire at the red ones. Looks like I'll show you Infantry unit, protect the surface to air missiles. Okay. Oh yeah, they did just port them from 4.1. The texture might be a little different, but I don't know. The red monsters appear to be a mutated form of the flying Wow, that's a lot of loot. appearance is almost identical. Yeah. Um... But yeah, game devs that make a sequel just more of what the... made the first one great. I appreciate those games, honestly. They may blend together a little bit, but... It's more of what we love. How could we not love it? Like, I can understand the need for, like, oh, some shakeups, but... Dude just said bullets can never hit me. I suppose that's the queen bee. The flying type cannot multiply without it. Ah, darn it! That is the main source of our problem. Ah, darn it. I'll have to go around. Queen, from now on. Attack and eliminate the queen. Yep, that's the queen, all right. Hang on, try. Monster is queen to the flying type. Ah, darn it. Oh, here's a pathway. Because sometimes I rocket jump to places with a lot of loot for cool. It's a bit of a crapshoot if you can actually jump up because, well, a little bit of... It's a little bit bizarre, the pathways you take when you're... Ragdolling. <laughs> but if you try enough times, you can eventually, like, rock and jump up somewhere. Yeah, it's very important I get these items. Like, my conversation about snowballing in games, it is... It is a little bit negated in this game due to the fact that you, when you fail, you still keep a percentage of your items. So it's a little bit of a comeback mechanic there. A little bit. Like, it might be that new weapon you pick up could really help. I doubt the, like, 5 extra armor you get would help, though, but hey, it could be that new weapon. You never know. But at least the armor adds up over time. It most definitely adds up. Okay? Okay, everything's okay. After this mission, I'll probably uh, head off, honestly. Yeah, I did start a little early, I think. Thinking about it, maybe next mission. Yeah, let's do next mission. My eyes are blurry, uh, okay. Did he get some, like, bug blood in his eyes? Oh, I, speaking of, I actually remember, like, a, a fruit punch, like, drink called Bug Juice. And because I was young and dumb, I thought, like, wait, are there, is there, like, actual bugs in it or something? <laughs> is that still a thing? 
Uh. Yeah? I think. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, it's been a thing for a while. I didn't read far enough to see if it's still a thing, like, right now, but... It, it's been a thing for about... Since... Like, at most, 2016. Because that's the one year I saw relating to it. It's one of those things you look at, like, oh, I remember that as a kid. I wonder if they still have it. And, like, it's an absolute crapshoot if they ha still have it or not, but... If they do, it's a pleasant surprise. Oh, he, uh... Oh, she... This is the queen. Um... Yeah, she was in a little bit of a uh, stun animation there, and... Oh, uh, just a... Just an armor, but... Hey, it's useful. Ooh, there's that mission done. Ooh! Upgraded my shotgun! Yep, that little increase in range can honestly make a big difference. Now, circle formation. Teleportation ships. Oh boy! This should work. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, there's almost always a mission where there's just a, a circle of teleportation ships. I'm counting, it's a large fleet. Yep, it is. Yeah, I might as well um, recruit all of them. I'll cover you. All we have is shotguns. The enemy ships are out of range. I mean, I have a shotgun too, but my outfit's purple. That means I'm cooler. But yeah, we will need to deal with each and every one of these teleportation ships. It's going to be a rough one. Honestly, maybe I should have brought a sniper rifle instead of a rocket launcher. Eh, whatever. Yeah, there... There we go. That's one down. Hey! Oh. Oh, okay. Physics got disabled on it. I wanted to launch it. Oh, and loot items can't go outside this place. So you don't have to worry about it falling out of range. I mean, sometimes loot items can fall through the floor. Or inside buildings. But inside buildings you can deal with if you have an explosive. Going through the floor, they disappear. Although I've seen enemies go through the floor too, but when that happens, they just spawn um, above the map and fall back down. Kind of disappointing that items don't do that too, but it's what it is. I had. Wow, the NPC just said, You had a dream like that? Like, no. I didn't say anything about my dreams. I mean, I once had a dream where Crypto from Destroy Humans said, Oh, no, he didn't say it. He, he, he gave me an ice cream cone. I don't know why. I don't know why I dreamed of him. I never really played Destroy Humans. But, yeah, that's what happened. And it kind of started like an inside joke with a friend of mine going, Here's some ice cream. It, it, it's, it's bizarre. I mean, a lot of my dreams are really bizarre. I actually once had a dream of an SCP. 
A possible SCP, I mean. It was like this urn with like beef in it. And if you opened it and he ate anything of it, like a an angry cow would hunt you down or something. It was it was weird. I can't remember if the if the meat inside was any good or not. Actually, I think I wrote it down. Um Yeah, let me let me try to find it. Ah, here it is. Oh. Okay. I okay, I found the text file where I noted down the SCP from that dream. And what the heck is with my brain? I... I legitimately don't know. Here, I'll read it out to you. If, it, if, you, if looked at directly for too long, it would charge you. If it had its meat eaten, the meat would gelatinize parts of your body, and the meat part would come alive and force its way out of your body. There's also this dog that would convince people that eating the meat would give you powers. The dog could climb buildings. An urn was found with a cow's meat inside. Yeah, I... I... What the heck? I... I legitimately don't know what was with that. Honestly, it kind of sounds like a mixture of several pre-existing ones. Like, I know there's that Shy Guy one that if you look at it at all, it'll charge you and, like, have fun not being alive, I guess. You know, I've not been too into SCPs. Like, I've read them a while back, but... Some of them are pretty interesting, and you can get pretty creative with them. Enemy paratroopers! I, I legitimately don't know why I had that dream. My, my dreams in general are just freaking weird. That is if I even remember them. Most of the times I just don't remember my dream or I don't even dream. I go to sleep and I just wake up. Either way, it's some pretty interesting. Built their civilization free of air pollution? It's unnatural for creatures that have developed such an advanced civilization to have no resistance to pollution. That means they are the master of the civilization. Oh. Correct. Interesting. These aliens are intelligent, but I don't think that they can surpass human beings. Yeah, basically they're saying... Four indigenous creatures brought by the creators of the civilization from who knows what planet. Yeah, they're basically saying that these enemies we find aren't... Also yeah. Their life supporting equipment oh, Earth. life support. But okay. after some further investigation, we found out another essential function. Those machines will affect their brains and body tissues. Oh. So the creators of the civilization made the aliens into cyborgs and controlled them, similar to the monsters. The aliens could also be clone soldiers. Disposable assets. No one cares that they'll die from air pollution. If we lose the war, that could be our future too. Interesting. Yeah, there's definitely more world building going on in this game compared to others. They're like, oh yeah, these things could outright be clone soldiers. And that pretty much guarantee pretty much confirming that these aren't the main aliens. Making the case that any of these aliens that are weak to the air pollution are not the big bads. I mean, one possibility could be that 
they developed like a cleaner form of energy long, long ago. And so the result of that is that over the many generations, the body's kind of lost the ability to resist some of the some dirty air. Some dirty air. So it's certainly possible. Heck, they probably found out a way to gain energy from the rotation of planets. It legitimately wouldn't surprise me if they somehow found a way to do that. Like, the thing is, because of how freaking massive planets are, if we're able to harness the energy... Like, honestly, just enough to make a day a second longer. That would be an absolutely crazy amount of energy. Moscow has fallen. It suffered great casualties. The garrison was annihilated within such a short time. So it honestly won't surprise me if these um what are what are the aliens called in this game? I think they're primers? Yeah, the primers. Excuse me. We might learn more about them in EDF6, which is a story sequel to this game. And will probably be the conclusion of this of this EDF timeline. Because typically it's every two mainline games that we set it. Although that's only a sample size of two. So it's really hard to confirm, but it's a pattern, and they'll probably stick with that pattern. But you bet I will buy six when it comes to PC. You know I will. I mean, this game is fantastic. Lots of cars. <laughs> bye bye. It'd be cool if the if launching those cars could actually damage the bugs. That'd be fun if it could. You know, I should probably kill that last teleportation ship. Like, quit goofing off and just finish the mission. <laughs> But I'm having too much fun. It, there's just an insane amount of weapons in this game. For each of the classes, there's there's a lot of replayability, there's a lot of content, there's just, just so much. And it's one it's one of those games that's like almost perfect for me. There's a uh, anime girl game like this called Bullet Girls, but it's it's kind of lewd, and I kind of have mixed feelings about that because sometimes a lot of these um, looter games, uh, uh, the gameplay is kind of worse, but a lot of people just kind of accept it because oh ha ha ha, it's. Sexy, but for me, when it comes to games, I, I've said this before gameplay is first and foremost, and graphics are secondary. Oh, one of them overheated. Yeah, when I do uh, a wing diver playthrough. You'll find out all about the mechanics of Wing Diver. Burn 
Okay. Oh, it ain't on a building. Oh. Looks like it was sta standing still for a second. And I hit a tree. Wow. Eyes bother me. Yeah, after this mission, I'm definitely... Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just take it out. No. <laughs> now I'm gonna head off and... Do some things by myself, you know? You know how it is. I mean... How I am right now, I'm not... I don't really have the endurance to stream like... Six hours a day. Not at the moment, anyway. Hey, maybe someday I will actually be able to do that. But as it is right now, I'm just doing it every day. Um, like about two to three hours a day. But that seems to be what my schedule generally is. Yeah, I should be getting 99 strength in RuneScape. Oh, excuse me. It's Monday, right? Yeah, it's Monday. I should be able to get it this week. Because I am level 97 and I'm halfway to 98, I believe. And I get about 90,000 experience an hour, and the amount of experience required to level up to 99 is like, for the, for the last level, it's like 1.2 million or something. It's a lot. So it'll take like an entire day of training just for one level. I forgot about that. Um, reason why I say that, it may sound very weird, but in Earth Defense Force 4.1, uh, wing divers don't sing at all. Bad news. Mothership number eight is drawing close. But yeah, they sing in this game. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, new rocket launcher. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wow, that lock on time was like cut in half. So let's see what the next one is. Here, on the next one, I'll use the MLRA-2, and for primary, I'll use the Sniper Rifle. But, that'll have to wait until tomorrow. And I hope everyone had a fantastic time. Be this on stream, live, or on the VOD. However you watched it, I hope you enjoyed. And have a fantastic evening. And take care, everybody. Yeah.